Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Mommy Budgets and I am Amanda. Today I am here to do my week two budget projection for the month of January 2022. So if you're interested in that sort of content, then stick around for the remainder of this video. and welcome to my channel for all those that are new hey and for those that are not new welcome back here on this channel we talk about anything related to finances from spending money to saving money to investing money to budgeting money all on the road to you guessed it financial freedom all right today we're going to be talking about our budget projection for week two of the month of January. Today is Friday, January the 14th, 2022. It is a Friday, therefore I got paid today. I get paid every single Friday and I do a projection of my monies every single week. Projection means I'm gonna tell each one of my dollars what to do and where to go and I'm gonna give them a job for the upcoming week. So let's run through these numbers real quick so we can keep this video short. First item, first off, let me project this information up on the screen so you can follow along with me. So you should be seeing it right about now. All right, first up we have, well, let's talk about my motivational phrase first. My motivational phrase says, work towards your goals. And that is a literal statement no hidden agendas or anything work toward your goals so that does not mean to just write down your goals and do nothing that does not mean to just think about your goals and do nothing it means work work is a verb it is an action that means you need to do something so if you're going to work toward your goal let's say for example your goal is to save ten thousand dollars this year guess what you need to do you need to work toward it that means that you need to actually get a job or get some kind of income coming in and physically put that money aside in an account to start building that account up toward ten thousand dollars that's what you do that is why i said work is an action so that's what you would be doing okay so that would apply to any goal that you have in your life but more specifically because of this channel your finances you need to be working toward your goals even if they're long term or short term all right enough about that let's get going the first item we have here is the mortgage for $268 then we have the security bill coming in at $26.95 Next is Netflix for $17.99, auto insurance for $54, student loan for $100, college spending account, which is money I put in my daughter account, $25 just to give her a little spending money every week, children lunch account. No, they are not paying for lunch right now because somehow the school system is giving them lunch for free, but every other year outside of before we got into this pandemic situation, they were paying full price. All three were paying full price for lunch. So I'm still putting that money away for two because one is off in college now. So that's $30. Next, we have household expenses. That is where I go to my bank, pull out the cash, the hard cold cash of $194 and put it in a card index system in my wallet. If you are interested in that system let me know i would do a separate video on how i do that all right next we have the children's savings account 28 dollars and 50 cents then we have my homeowners association fee for six dollars and 70 cents then we have the debt amount this is the monies that i put toward whatever debt i'm paying off i only have two debts left student loan mortgage focusing on my mortgage so it'll be 348 dollars and I'm sorry, 
And the last but not least is a cushion amount I like to leave in the account for $26.15. So the total for this upcoming week is $1,125.29. That I will need out of this week's paycheck to take care of all of these expenses. Now, I normally leave $1,228 in this account every single week. So, this week would be no difference than the other. So, let's look down at that line. If I subtract the total projected amount from this of this week from the $1,228, let us do that calculation. $1,228 minus Eleven twenty-five twenty-nine equals one hundred and two dollars and seventy-one cents. That number gets a blue cloud around it because it has a relationship with another number that's right below it. You will see that shortly. So that one hundred two seventy-one is an amount that I will put away in my bill savings account right here on paper. I'm not doing it realistically yet. Just right here on paper until we get through with all the calculations. That is step number one. Step number two, go back up through these expenses. Put a PA with a pink circle around it beside each item that I will be not that I will not be taking care of this upcoming week. The PA means put away. That means I'm putting it away in my bill savings account for later use. I'm not going to read those items again, but you see them listed there with the pink circle around the PA. That's step number two. Then at, um, we will go down to the third from the last line on this sheet and we will add up all those um, totals. So that put away amount equals $217.65. And that is also another amount that I need to put away in the bill savings account because I'm not paying for those debts this week or expenses this week. However, I do project that money out of this week's pay. So we're doing that right here on paper as well. That's why that number also has the blue cloud around it. All right, so that is step number three. Step number four is to add those numbers together. So if we add those two numbers with the blue clouds around them together, you will see that $217.65 plus $172.71 equals $320.36. That is the amount I need to put away in the bill savings account, total amount right here on paper. Now, stay with me. Let's go back up. The next step is to go back up through these expenses. Put a purple triangle around those items that I will be taking care of this upcoming week. You see all those items listed there. I am not going to go back through each item. Just know that I will be paying for those items this upcoming week. We're going to focus on two items. It's going to be the mortgage amount right now and that debt amount. Because I have some calculations out beside them, I need you to follow along with me so you can see why. All right, up there with the mortgage, this is the actual week. Week two of every month is when I pay my mortgage. The second Friday of every month I pay my mortgage. Therefore, at this particular time, my mortgage is 804. That's the monthly payment. However, I only projected $268 out of this week's pay. So we're going to have to get the rest of that money from somewhere, but let's subtract first. $804 minus the projected amount of $268 equals $536. That is the amount I need to pull out of the bill savings account right here on paper. Number gets a yellow line up under it because it has a relationship with other numbers on the paper. You will see that shortly. Now let's hop down to that debt amount. That debt amount I am projecting to pay $348 out of this week's pay. However, every single week I set aside monies out of my paycheck to send toward the mortgage principal only, okay? So last week, that's where you see that note there, to pay the $304 from the week one debt money. So I had set aside week one, $304. So we got both of those amounts. We have that 348 plus the 304 
which is going to be $652 that we need to pay directly toward the principal. So, you know, when I do my recap for next Thursday, it's going to look really good. That mortgage balance is going down. So that 304 from last week, that number also has a line underneath because I need to pull it back out of the bill savings account. Remember, I put it away last week. So that's what we have going on here. So now let's look at all the totals with the yellow line under them. We're going to either have to add or subtract those numbers together, depending on what the action is. So let's go back up. We see the 536. I need to pull out of the bill savings account. Then we see the 304. I need to pull out of the bill savings account. And then that last 32036 at that next to the last line on the sheet, I need to put away in the bill savings account. So we have two numbers that we need to pull out and one number that we need to put away. So we need to subtract. So let's look at the very last line. The very last line shows you exactly what I'm going to do with my money this week. Let's add and subtract these totals. $536 plus the $304 for the principal only payment minus the $320.36, which is the amount I need to put away, equals $519.64 that I need to pull out of the bill savings account this week. That number gets an enclosed, enclosed yellow box around it because that is actually what I'm going to do with my monies this upcoming week. After I get through with the direct deposit hitting my checking account and I move my other little monies to the savings account. I, have, I don't talk about my savings on here. I'm still debating on if I want to do all that. But anyway, once I do all that then um, and leave the 1228 in the account, at the end of the day, I am moving $519.64 to the bill savings account. I'm sorry, pulling it out of the bill savings account to help me to pay for my expenses for this upcoming week. So let me know, let me know, let me know if you have any questions on my budgeting technique. Um, I said in a previous video that I am thinking about changing up this budget technique, not necessarily the numbers because I can't do anything with the numbers. They are what they are. These are my expenses. These are my debts. It's all about how I'm going to think about how I want to pay for all these items each coming um, in the coming weeks or the payment method I want to use. So go check that video out. It's um, a video on credit cards versus debt, debit cards. I'm sorry. So go and check that out. But that's all I have for this video for today, guys. Please subscribe to my channel. Send this video along to somebody you know that may need a budgeting technique so they can get start, started winning with their money. Please do that. And also comment and let me know how you're doing with uh, early on in this 2022 year with your monies. This is all I have for this video. This is Dr. Mommy Budgets, where we dream big but start small around here. I will see you in the next video. Peace.